didn't the show started at eight so it was longer than that because I got there about nine o'clock so that tells you how long I was dancing in that motherfucking uh, room in there you know I was in there for a long time you know making sure eyelashes was right and this and that was right and you know primer and all. I mean I was whew. it takes a long time to do all that you know so then you begin to sweat and you're hot and all this other shit here I, it was too much. It's too much into the, that's some theatrics like a motherfucker. I mean, it's, it's a lot to do that, y'all. That's why I don't do them bitches all the time, because it's a lot involved with that. But anyway, let me get on to them motherfucking boy shorts, y'all. Oh, my God, because y'all know I don't wear panties every day. And I'm so used to and accustomed to not wearing panties that when I wear them, it makes me uncomfortable. I was so fucking uncomfortable. Oh, my God. I'm like, how in the hell? And, and growing up, you know, I wore panties up until I was about 35. I wore panties every day. Panty shields, all that shit. Till I was about 35. And then after 35, something just said, bitch, poof, you liberated. Take all that motherfucking shit off. You know what I mean? And so, and it's like, now panties and shit just get in the way with me. You know, I mean, it literally gets in the way. And then, um, once I started shaving and all that, I don't even want no hair on my pussy. I don't want nothing on it. I just don't want nothing on it. I just, it's hot and all that other shit. And not, no, fuck that. Y'all, I had them boy shorts on. And let me tell you, them bitches was cutting my ass like 40 going north. I was getting cut in the front and the back. Camel toe was bent off. Man, I said, fuck that shit. It was like I was sitting on back wings and shit. My motherfucking butterfly wings. One of the motherfuckers seemed like it was hanging out. I said, oh, fuck that. I can't do this panty shit. I can't do this. I can't do it. Y'all, I was sitting down in that motherfucking thing trying to be comfortable, trying to look cute and shit. And it was like I was just sitting like one wing was just on the outside. Felt like one wing was on the outside of my motherfucking shorts. Looked like he was just cutting off the circle. Like, I said, bitch, you Oh, my God. Fuck that. I mean, my lips was going through that day. I mean, I was like, oh, my God, this bitch is going to be mad with me. Because, you know, pussies get real fussy. You know what I mean? I mean, you could throw the pH balance off and this bitch is just in a mood for days and days. I mean, I know I ain't the only motherfucking one. You know what I'm saying? I'm just the only one that speak on it. But my pussy was not excited with my ass. I mean, this bitch was like, bitch, hurry up and get to the car and take this shit off. Well, after I came up out of that motherfucking venue... Excuse me. After I came out the venue, y'all, wait a minute. It's like I got the hiccups from still low. Like I got some hiccups or something coming from way back yonder way. Anyway, but y'all, when I came up out of there, as soon I was making it to my car, right? Uncomfortable, seemed like one lip one lip was still poked out on the side and shit. I said, oh my God, bitch, hurry up, get your ass to the car. <laughs> and instead, what I should have did was went to the bathroom and handled that. You know what I'm saying? But when you have one thing about wearing them corsets, Jack, it's uncomfortable to sit down. You know, it's just, it's just uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? You just want to release like a motherfucker. So, anyway, as I come out of there, and then this other dude, he just sitting up talking, can I get your number and all that. As a matter of fact, y'all, let me show you what he looked like. It don't matter. I can show you what he looked like, because this ain't the nigga that I'll be fucking with. I met him at the show the other night. Oh, shit. I met him at the show the other night. Nigga, but when your hair is long and, I mean, all that, I'm, I'm cool. I mean, he had long motherfucking hair. He had a couple French braids going back. I said, oh, my God. This nigga is that one of them scared straight motherfuckers. You know what I mean? But what made him, you know, you know, did I exchange numbers with him is just the fact that he just wouldn't leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? He just kept talking and was just so extra nice and... All that other shit. And so, by him being so nice, I said, okay, I, I mean, he is kind of cute. I mean, you know what I'm saying? He got a little bone thugs and harmony shit going on. But, I mean, you know, he, he might be all right. You know what I mean? I want to change numbers with dude, but... And you see, if you know... Well, now nah, y'all won't notice. 
Okay, he texted me at 1 o'clock, 1.30 in the morning, Monday morning. Okay, did my Sade baby make it home safe yet? I didn't respond to the motherfucker. You see, well, I don't want to just be showing his number and shit, but I didn't respond, right? Then he sends me another message Wednesday. Okay, today at 1.14. What's up, Tina? Nothing. Leave me alone, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. Nothing. Okay? But, y'all, okay, back to the bottom line. When I got to the truck, I was taking them pennies off, them goddamn boy shorts off so quick. And here, a dude tried to sell me a shirt for $10. And, and you know, I, and, I, and I was like, I went on and I bought the shirt. But, you know, I was a little bit suspicious of this motherfucker because he was looking rather peculiar. I'm like, okay, well, motherfucker, why are you looking all around and shit? He was like, well, um, you know, because they're taking shirts right now. They're taking shir shirts and shit. And I, he was like, because we're not supposed to be selling these out here. I said, I understand all that, but nigga, right now, you though, you got me a little leery of your ass, So I mean, calm the fuck down right now, though. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know if you're trying to take my person run. I don't know what the fuck you're trying to do. But what I'm saying to you right now, calm the fuck down. Okay? Calm the fuck down. Because, I mean, he was just walking. He was like, well, I'm selling these shirts, blah, 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 Miss Lady. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, just, you know, just talking and shit. And I was like, okay, well, what size you got? He said, I only got mediums. So I was like, okay, well, then give me a medium. And it fit me pretty good because actually they're men tee. So a men tee on a woman is, is a cool fit. You know what I'm saying? I don't like my shit all big and bulky no motherfucking way. But, it, I mean, it was a cool fit. So, anyway, so I bought the shirt from him. You know, and I was trying to get this motherfucker away from me. You know what I'm saying? Okay, nigga, I bought the shirt. I gave you the 10. You get, I gave you 20. You gave me 10 back. Okay, I'm cool. Don't and go. So I can get my ass to the motherfucking truck so I can take these goddamn shorts and shit off. You know what I'm saying? He's still talking and shit. Um, well, you 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 got a husband, you got a man, and you got I don't what? Our business is through. I got the shirt, you said medium, I gave you twenty, you gave me ten, holla at you. You know what I mean? I'm cool on your ass, you know? Anyway. When I got to the um truck, I unhipped like a mother. Hi, button. Uh oh, you got bad news. What happened? Cause you're coming in here glistening. And 